method statement for basement floor finishes. Work sequence slash procedures of works. Approval of materials and shop drawing. Level, survey checking. Installation of expansion joint, W colon 20, D colon 20. Install wire mesh, DB at 200 then, embedment or checking of MEP service, if have. Casting concrete, C30 MPA. Steel troweled to floor surface. Saw cutting, W colon 56, D colon 30. Curing, cleaning and surface preparation. Primer application. KE60 water-based epoxy primer. Top coat epoxy application. KE064 water-based epoxy floor paint. Materials, equipment to be used. The tools and equipments for the concrete, mortar screening works are shown below. Float and trowel. Level. Portable mixer. Shovel. Straight edge. Power float, twin. Portland cement. Sand. Wire mesh DB at 100, level, survey checking. Surface where screening is to be done will be cleaned. The surface must be dry or free water must be removed from the subfloor. The concrete screening or material will be ordered from the batching plan with the design mix of C30 and casted for a thickness of 80 mm to 100 mm. Put markings for survey layout and slope to final and correct elevation, level. Prior to screening, ensure to check that the mechanical and electrical services under screed has been completed, inspected, protected and approved as per drawing, specification, installation of expansion joint, W colon 20, D colon 20. Installation of expansion joint width 20 mm and depth 20 mm after insert styrofoam at bottom part as based on shop drawing approved and or specification. Wire mesh DB at 200 bolt direction installation, then embedment or checking of checking of MEP service, if have, casting concrete, C30 MPA. Mixing for cement, sand screeds will be at the batching plant. Mortar screed will be delivered on site using concrete transit mixer. Concrete pump car will be used for concrete, mortar screeding placement. Apply bonding agent and wait until damp prior to start placing of mortar screed, if any. Ensure that the base has been prepared before receiving the screeding. Use narrow strips of screed materials, laid and compacted to the finished level to establish the level of the screed. Place screed materials in bays separated by leveling strips. Tubular pipe has to be used as a leveling guide, strip and supported independently. Ensure to fill any low areas, recompact and rule out, steel troweled to floor surface. Finish the surface as required by the approved drawing or as needed for the type of flooring to be supplied. Finish to a flat surface with a hand or powered steel trowel or power float, twin, saw cutting. W colon 56, D colon 30. Saw cutting by concrete cutter, width 5 filled is 6 mm and depth 30 mm. Curing, cleaning and surface preparation. As soon as the screeds have set it shall be covered with polyethylene sheeting and keep in position for a period of 3-7 days or as required number of days by the consultant, designer. Ensure to protect screeds against damage, wear and contamination during subsequent building operations. Primer application, KE60 water-based epoxy primer. Identification of areas before proceeding on application of epoxy paint. First step surface preparation, prior to application of areas, surface must be free from any defect, oil, moss, or other deleterious material that can affect the adhesion of material on the surface. In any case, power spraying of water to clean the surface of the floor before epoxy primer application. Second step application of primer coat, KO60 epoxy primer, to fill the surface of floor or any imperfection by using the roller. For primer mixing ensure to follow the sequence as below. Stir the materials A and B by separate before mixture. Mix the component A and B together thoroughly in the correct ratio and let it reach 10 mm before application. No need water during mixing. Apply the epoxy primer on the floor. 1-2 coat slash layer depending on the surface condition. 
Top Coat Application, KO64 Water Base Epoxy Floor Paint Third Step Application on the Epoxy Paint, KO64 Floor Paint Two Primer Coat shall be carried out 24 hours, for best surface, or wait until surface dried. For materials mixture ensure to follow method below. Stir the materials A and B separately before mixing the two part materials. Material component A is the ability to mix with non-solvent paste. Material component B is ability to provide a glossy coating with excellent chemical resistant. Material component A and B together in the correct ratio and let it reaches until 10 mm before start application to the floor. Mixing those materials without the water. But if necessary, dilution cannot be more than 10% of the water. Note, apply anti-slippery sand, in case ramp way. Suitable joint of saw cutting and expansion joint. Suitable joint and subtract preparation. Insert backing rod to require depth and apply primer if necessary. Insert cartridge into sealant gun and firmly extrude Zikaflex construction AP, into joint marking. Fill the joint, avoiding air entrapment. Masking tape must be used where share exact joint line or exceptionally neat lines are required. Remove the tape whilst the sealant is still soft. Sleek joint with smoothing liquid for a perfect sealant surface. Appendix inspection forms to be used. Thank you for watching.